<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Grill. Ah, all right. Just finished a quick sign-in. Four, you no, know, sixteen pages. <coughs> Got it all done. Um, it was an all cash deal, so there was um no deed, no note. Um, it was an altar statement. Got it done. Um, real, I mean, real simple, easy to do. And I'm starting to get more of these all cash deals. So um, those um, are really, really easy. I mean, there's really there's nothing for you to try to explain to anybody because with those, the people apparently are spending more time analyzing and going over the documents so they know what they're signing because they're paying cash you know up front for the property so they're like you know there's no okay you know there's any gotchas okay what's my interest rate and all of that so so for notaries new notaries you're worrying about you know what do i say if they ask me my in their interest rate well if it's an all cash deal they, there's no interest rate because they paid it off it's just about them signing and then they look at the numbers, which they've already reviewed the numbers. In this um, particular case, the person said, my spouse already reviewed them. They just told me to sign. I trust my spouse. <laughs> my, spouse my spouse trusts me. I don't need to hear nothing from you. I mean, they didn't say it that way to me. But, you know, I say, do you need do, do you need to review anything? You're like, nope. I already talked to my spouse. And he said, she said everything was good. So, where I got to sign? I was like, boom, boom, boom. We was out. Uh -uh. We was out. Uh -uh. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't know why I did that. But the thing is, y'all got to stop stressing over this stuff. So a lot of people been giving me some great feedback on the video I did about um, notaries trying not to get got. Or oh, I updated, I modified the, um, <laughs> the, the title. It said, um, notaries trying not to get got, getting them before, before they get you. <laughs> And that's really where a lot of this stuff is at now. Um, but somebody left a really good comment in there underneath somebody else's comment. And um, the comment basically that they left, it was a person said, you know, my only issue is companies don't pay or pay late. You know, and I agree. That is a problem. That is a huge problem we're having right now. But the person that somebody um, replied and basically said what the issue is, which is what I've said, is that basically these companies, these signing companies, they are financially in trouble, okay? They are financially in trouble and they don't have the money to pay us and therefore it is causing a backlog. And this is why I work the way I work. I told y'all, the money that I the, the money that I make in any in a month is not for the ne next month. It's for the month after that, because that's how late the money is coming. And don't think that oh, if I work direct with people, it'll always be on time. Not necessarily so. It's not always that way, because the title comp the signing companies are paying late because they're getting paid from the title company. And if the title company is paying late because of whatever, that means the signing company is going to pay late. That means you're getting paid late. And this is why you have to decide how you're going to work this business so you can spread it out. You know, you know, say, OK, well, I'm going to do 15 different things. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as what you're doing this month will be paying you money the next month and then the next month. You got to balance this thing out. I'm going to be doing a video with the, for the members in a little bit, talking about that, how, you know, you got to be careful about um, taking all these, you know, trying to do all these different, you know, um, side hustles and how they can, they can hem you up. Just check and make sure that ain't no police in the, in the little Dodge Charger. It's a, nope, just a regular dude. But that's the thing, you know, um, you really have to balance that. So the signing companies, are struggling financially and I've shared this why and I don't know what a lot of people you're not really listening to when I'm saying this some people think that I'm just blowing smoke and making stuff up because I'm the only one who's saying it and I'm not trying to say that like I'm the the baddest person I hear the best person I'm just saying I'm the only one that really is trying to educate folk on this and I'm addressing it because when you think about it if a signing company's business has decreased 
when they got accounts receivables that they you know that they need to pay so they got account they got people they need to pay all these individual notaries but all of a sudden they can't pay us well why is that because the money that you think well the money they sh they made should be there for them to pay us but they've already spent that money they've already put that money into other things they've already gone to this conference that conference remember now these are regular people notaries like us who started signing companies so they want to pop lock and go out here dancing and partying it up and drinking their mimosas and go on cruises and then all of a sudden the industry changed and there have been warning signs big warning sign i just couldn't take advantage of the opportunity like i wanted to because i was focused on my dad so i saw the warning signs i heard about the warning sign i just wasn't in a position to take advantage of it to the degree that i would that i could have and would have liked to have so i wouldn't be you know like now i wouldn't have to work as hard as i'm working but i knew either i sacrifice on one end and i spend time with my dad or be with my dad and know that you know <laughs> If he passed and, and you know, didn't know when or any of that, but I was like, okay, this is just a, a, a pill I'm going to have to, you know, swallow. If he passed or something comes up, I'm going to have to go out here and turn and burn. And that's exactly what has happened. So from that pers perspective, I was prepared and I saw what was going on and I adjusted accordingly and knew what adjustment I was going to have to make when certain things happened in my life. But for many of you, you didn't look at it. You just like, I'm just going to go out here and I'm just partying it up. And you didn't pull anything back. And there was a lot that I pulled back on um, various little memberships that I had and things of that nature. I was like, I, I'll do it myself. I, I'll do it myself. Nope, I don't need this. I, I understand all the AI automation. Nope, I'll do it myself. <clears throat> you know, I only kept anything that was truly, truly essential and that really, truly benefited my bottom line. Anything else, I disconnected from it. So there are companies out here who basically, they weren't prepared for this and they're trying to stay afloat. And this is why I keep sharing with y'all as notaries, we gotta get our head right. And sometimes these trainers got us all riled up and not just trainers, but even some of these little fringe people out here who, you know, they like, well, you know, I, I just want to just share my opinion and they get you all hyped up worrying about what the signing company's making, how much this person making, who going to do this, why you ain't, why you sending me an order that's 104 pages for, for, for $65, you need to pay me, you know, a dollar twenty-five per page and all, you know what I'm saying? They doing all of that and then they get you riled up and then you go run into the wrong company and you trip it and you start tripping on them and the next thing you know, you ain't getting no more business because you listen to this fool out here talking about what they ain't got but then when you look at them you're like you looking around it's like look like you got everything already covered your man your woman or whoever you kicking it with got you covered and you just doing this for play play so this is why i say you got to be careful who you're listening to because you're listening to somebody because of your lack of knowledge about the business and then they're telling you, oh, it's like this and, and they're screwing you over and you getting all riled up, then you go running in there with your little tiki torch and the next thing you know, you sitting on the sideline like, I can't get no orders and you begging for stuff now. So you gotta really be careful about who you listen to. They're not going to stop running off at the mouth, but you don't necessarily have to listen to that crap and you don't have to try to execute it in your business life. And that's the thing, you know, so these companies are struggling, the signing companies and the title companies, they're struggling. And how do we, and see what I've been doing is trying to find a way to work with them and trying to get them to respect what I'm doing and not try to lord over me because you're afraid and scared and you're worried about, well, well, will the documents go out on time? Will, will you show up on time? Will you do this and do that? I got you. I know the other notaries are, are, are messing stuff up, but I got you. Okay, yes, I know I made a mistake, but I got you. What, what do you need me to correct? No problem, I got it done. When you, okay, cool. And this is where proper communication is gonna come in and be key for the signing companies and the title companies and everybody to inform us of things, you know, 
because even now lately it's been this thing of after the signing is done all of a sudden there's this oh yeah by the way we need these documents scanned right now for funding okay you know what things are tight are hard i'm trying to make money the fees are going down so i'm taking three and four signings and now you want me to stop sit at home scan wait for you to tell me that it's okay and then i leave for my next appointment I, i'll never make any money that way so we have to find a better way of making this thing pop you know if you need this done then we need to have a conversation let me know up front so i can better plan and prepare you know so these companies are scrambling and they're fighting for business they're fighting each other not literally fighting but they're you know they're competing against each other with the small pool of title companies so you think about it the signing companies that yeah they might be in florida but they're but they're trying to get business for the title companies that are in california the title companies in california are trying to fight with the you know trying to get business from the um from the title the signing companies in cali trying to get business in florida and vice versa texas everywhere there's these they're trying to get as much business as they can and they're trying to in some cases they're they're promising certain things that probably shouldn't be promised and then they need us to do it and they don't feel that they need to tell us ahead of time that they made such and such agreement with their client that we would do dot 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 and then when you come with an attitude they don't have any patience and this is this is where we're at so and this is why if that's why i did the video about people are worrying about trying to get, not to get got i think you're trying to get over on me well i think you're trying to get over on me well i think both of y'all trying to get over on me well we think you're trying to get over on us and that's a part of where we're at right now and we have to find a way to build trust with each other and then when the opportunity to trust another comes trust that other and then you who is being who trust is being extended to you need to operate and walk in a spirit of trust with the people who are trusting you and have patience and compassion toward one another in this business this is where we're at right now and if we can figure out how to do that effectively things will go a lot smoother so that when the next gold rush of notary work comes along and mortgages and all that stuff via the mortgages we will be ready for it and not have burned bridges and pissed everybody off i mean there's notaries out there that's like if the signing company's not paying even the title company anybody ain't paying me you know delaying and this that and the other I ain't messing with them no more well that hurts you so how do you fix that okay you might have to have a conversation with the notaries and say hey look this is what's going on this is really what's going on we 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 boot scrapping bottom feeding how to try to make this thing work okay gotcha you know if you're a notary and you and all you you only have a printer you better tell somebody and try to figure something out if you barely got paper and you printing on your son's line paper from school you better tell you better figure something out you know you gotta have communications you know if you if you only got a single tray you need to let them know instead of taking orders that require letter and legal and then you're spazzing out because you can't figure out how to get the documents back in order and all that kind of stuff so the conversations need to be had and it's hard it's, it's hard to admit that you aren't really where you're supposed to be and you're really f flossing okay or fronting you're really fronting about it but if you have that conversation and from a lot of times you got to have that conversation with yourself as a business owner and sometimes you may not need to say anything to anybody but if you have that conversation with yourself then sometimes your, your brain starts thinking like well, man, well how can i fix this how do i get out of this how do i make it a, a possible for me to pay the people that i need to pay and then you start trying to come up with ways and maybe some type of agreements and things of that nature and this is why i'm i'm always encouraging notaries sometimes you take those smaller jobs if the if the signing company has 
some some work coming up and you know you got notaries that are solid and you really want to keep them and they're doing good work then maybe have a conversation with them say look okay i normally deal with like 200 different notaries but you 15 i'm a top ones okay so i got this work coming up and it's going to be in your area so i'm a i'm, I'm going to pick you but the fee is only fifty dollars now i need to know from you if you don't want to do it i need to know up front that you're not willing to to take these orders of fifty dollars they're helping my business out to stay afloat which gives me money so that way i can start paying people on time because it's revenue coming in for me to me that's how you have the conversation you try to have that conversation with people now if the notary is like nah nah bump that nah nah dog you got to pay me you got to pay me off and that ain't enough okay then fine i got it then i just grab another person and, and until i get the 15 people that i need to do it that's how i would do it you know i would have that conversation and I would think that the people who I'm talking to would feel honored that I selected them, that I recognize their work and that they're the top people. And I want to give them this opportunity. And I'm the type that would, okay, what you need me to do for you? All right, cool. Not a problem. Send it my way. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I have a client that's like that now. That's like, hey, we got this work coming down the line. Can you be there for us? No problem. Just give me a holler and I got you. And they've been giving me a holler and I got them. It works that way. This is business. This is not W-2 stuff. It's about business. You finding a way. Sometimes your sacrifice as the last person in the process, meaning the notary, sometimes you taking an order can help that customer, that signing company stay afloat another month or two. And then as they start getting money in, they can pay us on time because they got money coming in from there because just let's just say if the person who they do have paying them a hundred and they're willing to pay you 50 and they keep 100 if that person if that contract pays faster that might be the money that they can use to pay us the money that we they owe us from something else things can work out that way you never personally know that but it can happen that way and you have to look at all the different variables that's what business owners do People who are with W-2 mindset, they're just looking at the here and now. That's it. They're looking at the here and now. That's what's helping me to stay afloat, okay? Slash somewhat afloat. In some cases, I feel like I'm somewhat afloat. I'm like, you know, just barely in there. But this is a part of it, and you have to find a way to... <coughs> to stay in firm and not give up and just keep going and i do and see me this is just my personality i actually take an account for okay what could that signing company owner be going through what could they be going through that's holding them up that's making things tough for them and then i'm like how can i make myself available for them and what's my limitations okay and this is what you have to make for yourself and it's not about what's going on in your facebook group or with your trainers or anybody else this is solely uh uh your business decision so i made up my mind that okay any order that comes from anybody i'm going to put forth every effort to do it unless logistically i can't so i don't care whether it's for fifty dollars or this that or the other I'm just going to do it and let the money roll on in and see what happens. And so far, it's been keeping things going. It's not ideal all the time that you want to do that. But <clears throat> right now, it's ideal for me. So the signing companies are, are, are in trouble. They didn't. A lot of them didn't properly plan. A lot of them was just hype living on the hype. A lot of them were just looking at, ha ha, I'm bringing in 50, 75, 100K a month, just dishing out orders and I ain't got to do all of that stuff that the notaries got to do. But then a lot of them are now signing company owners are back out there <laughs> signing and stamping, signing and stamping because they didn't properly prepare and plan for the downturn. 
They thought everything was just going to be cool. They didn't think about the fact that their title, the title companies that they're working with are working with mortgage brokers who only deal in refinances and don't deal in sales purchases or any other loan product. And now that broker, that loan broker that they was dealing with, they shut that division down. They're like, oh, no, no refinances are gone. We can't do them. Sorry, we can't we can't compete, you know, with doing seven, eight percent refinances. And now that's title company who was connected with that lender. They just lost business. They lost 80 percent of their business that way. And guess what? <laughs> the title company suffering, which means you're going to be suffering. And now they're diversifying and doing other stuff, but it's paying a lot less, but it's keeping the lights on, which could possibly keep your lights on, which is keeping my lights on. This is just business and I get it. And 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 it don't feel good. It, it's not nice. It's not what you signed up for. But this is business. <laughs> That's, and many other businesses go through that. And I'm fortunate that, hey, you know, I haven't had to shut down. I'm still going. I'm finding a way to keep it going. <clears throat> I'm shifting this and moving that. I'm building up this, tearing that down. And I'm making it happen. So I'm thoroughly you know pleased with my resilience and my ability to keep things going when things have gotten super super tough so i'm gonna just keep doing it i'm gonna just keep doing what i'm doing but i just wanted to just share that with y'all today you know we all messed up we a lot of us you know just didn't take this serious enough or we just wasn't in a position to do the necessary adjustments so we could um, not suffer financially and all of that because of the downturn of the market. But we just got to find a way to hang in there. They've already revised and said instead of 10 rate cuts, it's going to be maybe three. And now they're even saying might not be any. So more adjustments. And I was sharing this with you. I told y'all don't buy into the thing. of Oh, there's going to be all these rate cuts. And there's a lot of people out there was bragging about it. Yeah, it's going to be all these rate cuts. Woo. And now they're saying you might get one. That means they're not looking at the big picture of things. And as I was looking at the bigger picture, listening to the bigger picture lookers, I understood what they was talking about. And that's why I was like, I can't hang my hat on 10 rate cuts. Mm -mm. I said it. Let me just keep working. Let me just keep doing what I need to do to make the money that I need to make and, and being there for the people who need me to be there for them. And that's what I'm going to do. So y'all have a good one. I'm going to go in here, um, do these scan backs and eat me some lunch real quick. And oh, I got two more house inspections to do and then a 730 loan application later this evening. So whoo, everything's looking good. Y'all y'all hang in there. Talk to y'all later. Oh. Give me your thoughts on what I said in the comments. I appreciate it. Peace.